To my great joy, I found out that uh, GYE Tech has published a new firmware for the popular DSO-138. This is the old firmware that my kit originally came with when I built it, and it's got a few flaws, uh, nothing too bad that would make it unusable, but it could do with some improvements. So to flush the new firmware, uh, you got a uh, close two jumpers on the back. I have also described this uh, process, including all the links to the software you need on my blog that you find uh, the link to down below. So you'll notice that my solder tip is a bit wide for the for the job, but we'll need that later on. This is a USB to serial adapter, and it's got 3.3 .3 volt levels. So if you connect the ground pin and the transmit and the receive pins, and you got to do that crosswise, you got to connect the transmit pin of your serial adapter to the receive pin of the board, and vice versa. Once that's done, you can connect it to your PC and it will show up as a, as just another serial port on your computer. You'll notice when you power up the scope that the screen comes up blank. Now you can start the flash downloader, install it to your PC. I have the links to all those programs in my blog that you'll find at www.areresearch.net. So choose the newly found uh, COM port, remove the protection from the uh, from the flush tip. It's got a 64k flush. Go next. Yeah, it's still 64k. It's good. So you can go. Go next again. And choose the hex file that we downloaded before and extract it to our PC. After erasing the flash, it's gonna flush the new firmware to the board. And having done that, it will verify it for errors. Right, so that was basically it. The um, scope is still in update mode. You can remove the power, remove the USB to serial adapter, and of course, now you can open the um, the jumpers again. Remove the uh, solder. So if you power up the scope now, it comes up with a new flash screen and uh, an extra copyright anti uh, anti fake uh, flash screen. Now the actual improvement here is uh, is a zeroing. Uh, which works better than before. Uh, apart from that, uh, they still don't use the USB port that the uh, board comes with, which would, would be great, really. Okay, that's it. So read up on my blog and bye for now.